Last meeting, we've discussed about the different kinds of angles. And for today, we are going to tackle about complementary and supplementary angles. At the end of the learning experience, the students should be able to Define complementary and supplementary angles Differentiate complementary and supplementary angles through a paper-pencil activity. Let's start! Two angles are said to be complementary if they add up into 90 degrees, forming a right angle. As you can see, these angles are adjacent, which means they share a common vertex and a common side. If we add these angles, we will obtain 90 degrees, so the two angles are said to be complementary. If the sum of the angles are equal to 90 degrees, we say that they complement each other. Angles do not have to be adjacent for it to be complementary. These angles are also complementary because their sum is equal to 90 degrees. And if you combine them together, they will form a right angle. Complementary angle comes from the Latin word completum, which means completed. Here are some examples of complementary angles. These angles are complementary because 25 degrees plus 65 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Another example, we have 58 degrees and 32 degrees. So if you will add them, it will be equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, it is complementary. Notice that the angles are complementary if they form a right angle. For example, 29 degrees plus 61 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, these two angles form a right angle. Next example is 66 degrees plus 24 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So these two angles are complementary. I'm going to show you a different pair of angles and you're going to tell me if those angles are complementary or not. Are these angles complementary or not? All the examples that I've shown you are about how to know if the angles are complementary or not. What if the other angle is not given? How will you find its complement? Based on the examples that I've shown you earlier, we can say that a complementary angle is equal to the sum of the angles, or simply angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Given these two angles, we're going to find out what is the measure of angle A, wherein angle B measures 41 degrees. So, using the formula for complementary angle, we're going to substitute the value of angle B. So, it will become angle A plus 41 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. And applying the APE or addition property of equality, we're going to transpose 41 degrees to the other side and subtract them. So the answer will be 49 degrees. We're going to apply the same procedure in this given angles. So angle A measures 53 degrees and then we're going to find out what is the measure of angle B. So using the formula of complementary angle, we're going to substitute the value of A to the formula. We can just simply subtract 53 degrees from 90 degrees to find the measure of angle B. So therefore, angle B measures 37 degrees. Created using Powtoon.